thank you all for coming tonight to the opening of this year's Snoopy House. And uh, it's, it's going to be a wonderful 13 days of Snoopy House out here. And I know there's going to be lots of families and kids that make memories. And so thank you for joining us uh, for this nice opening. Uh, before we get started, I want to introduce a few folks and have them wave to you and, and say hello. I want to start off by welcoming and introducing Sandy Guinness. Council member for Costa Mesa. Also with her this evening is Council member Katrina Foley. Uh, also joining us this evening is Council member elect John Stevens. Welcome. Also with us tonight is Assembly member Matt Harper. Thank you, Matt, for coming. And from Michelle Steele's office, uh, Supervisor Michelle Steele's office, uh, Tim Whitaker. Welcome, Tim. We have a couple of special guests behind them in red that you'll see. We'll introduce them in just one minute. But just uh, a little bit about uh, Snoopy House. Uh, Snoopy House is a 50-year uh, tradition in Costa Mesa. 50-year tradition. In Costa Mesa, we love our traditions, and this is one that uh, countless families over 50 years have enjoyed. For 44 years, this tradition was in uh, the east side of Costa Mesa and enjoyed by thousands and thousands of Costa Mesans over the years. Even their neighbors and friends from neighboring communities came out each year to see Snoopy House. We're for very fortunate that it's part of the fabric of Costa Mesa. And so uh, about six years ago, we brought it to City Hall Lawn to help connect the community with the, their facility and their City Hall. And it's been operating here and enjoyed by thousands and thousands as well for, for many years. And so uh, it's a tradition that's unlike many others in Costa Mesa, and we're very excited about it. Just want to introduce... Uh, uh, Councilmember Sandy Guinness, and to have her come up and just say a few words to you. Sandy, please join me. Well, we, want, we just want to welcome you to the Snoopy House and, and have fun with the snow and have fun with the trains. And remember what the season is about. It's a season of giving, so be kind to people. And remember, Santa's watching, so, re, so be polite and kind to everybody. <laughs> and uh, please join me in welcoming Councilmember Katrina Foley. Good evening, everyone. What a beautiful Southern California Costa Mesa night. It can't get much better than this. We love it that we are able to have this 50 year tradition here in Costa Mesa. Be sure to check out the booths throughout the 13 days. We will rotate student and community groups to be able to sell baked goods and hot chocolate and popcorn. And so it's a great way to partner with our community and our schools. We'll also have all kinds of wonderful performances every night right here on this stage. And so we hope you'll tell all your friends to come down to Snoopy House, enjoy this family friendly activity for Costa Mesa because we just love Costa Mesa and love making Costa Mesa great for families. So we hope you'll have a great holiday season. It's starting off wonderfully here in our city and we are excited about lighting up Snoopy House tonight. Okay, uh, now we're going to invite up uh, Jim and Linda Jordan. Jim and Linda, come on up and join us up here. Give them a hand. Okay, uh, Jim and Linda Jordan, again, this, uh, this is a passion of theirs, and they've been working on this Snoopy House and providing this activity each year to the residents of Costa Mesa. And it seems all beautiful and wonderful now. You know what it is, though? It is work, too. They have to put in countless hours of volunteer time to help make it better and better each year, to help maintain it each year. Uh, Dan Baker is in the audience tonight. And uh, Dan Baker and our staff tell me stories about working with, with Jim and Steve and the other volunteers that are here. It's hard. It's hard work day in and day out, and they do a fantastic job. Dan says that uh, Jim's so uh, so seasoned at this that he has thousands of stories about Snoopy House and he's never told the same one. Pretty unusual, but it's it's many, many years of stories. And so yeah. 
And so uh, tonight we're doing a couple things. We're going to honor the Jordans again for their effort and their uh, Snoopy House activities and kind of handing this over to the city to take more and more ownership as we move forward. But we're also tonight giving them an award uh, from the behind on behalf of the mayor and the city council called the mayor's award. And so tonight we have several things that we want to give to them. And the first one is a key to the city and council member Guinness is formally handing the key to the city over to uh, Mr. Jordan. So congratulations, Jim. Thank you so very much. Can I get to the budget office? <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, uh, council member Guinness uh, was able to uh, provide some nice flowers to, to Linda Jordan. She has put in thousands and thousands of hours as well, and, and uh, her and Jim together uh, helped make this happen and made it happen for many years in the city. And finally, Councilmember Foley is uh, going to be officially providing Jim Jordan with his Mayor's Award and uh, thanking him for uh, all those many years of service. Okay, so just so everyone knows what it says, it says, Jim Jordan, Community Volunteer, Snoopy House. Honoring your leadership and unwavering commitment and support for the annual Snoopy House display, which brings joy to thousands of children in and around our city. We are proud to have you in our Costa Mesa community. December 6, 2016, Mayor Stephen Mensinger. So, thank you, Jim. Well, thank you so very You're much. You're welcome. I'm overwhelmed. We have a couple of other uh, little words uh, for the Jordans, but then we're, then we're going to invite up uh, Jim and Linda to say a few words. First, uh, please uh, join me in welcoming Assemblyman Matt Harper. It's a great occasion to be here. And uh, just a couple of years ago, I had the, uh, the fortune to be here when the, uh, the Snoopy House and everything was coming here uh, to the beautiful uh, Civic Center here in Costa Mesa. And it's so great to see the tradition that's here now uh, and to see the kids light up when they see uh, the houses, the train, and all the fun stuff uh, that's here that started over 50 years ago. So in acknowledgement of this 50-year tradition, uh, I present this uh, certificate. Congratulations and thank you, Jim Jordan and family, for this Snoopy house. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate it. Take a pose for. Uh, I'll Chris. take a quick picture here. <laughs> Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. Uh, please join me in uh, welcoming Tim Whitaker, uh, representing Michelle Steele's office, to the podium. Thank you, Mr. Hatch. On behalf of Vice Chair Michelle Steele to the Board of Supervisors, County of Orange, it is indeed a pleasure to be here tonight. She'd be here herself, but unfortunately, the Vice Chair is home sick the last two days, and she did not want to miss this monumentous event of 50 years, but she's uh, unable to be with us. However, she did make sure that I'm here with a nice certificate of recognition for Jim Jordan and his family for his vision of starting Snoopy House 50 years ago. And then if, if you haven't read the unique story recently per, uh, published in the Daily Pilot, you want to make sure you do so, that you understand the uh, trials and tribulations and the, the dogged determination of the Jordan family to bring this to Costa Mesa every year. And the vice chair just loves that kind of, of uh, support out in the community because it's, that's what makes a city. And now it's going to be Costa Mesa's own. So on behalf of the vice chair to uh, Jim and Linda, I'd like to present you with a certificate of recognition. This is in honor of the 50th anniversary of Snoopy House, and it reads, your vision has brought Christmas joy to thousands of families and has rightfully become an iconic annual fixture at Costa Mesa City Hall. Your dedicated leadership and commitment to serve our community is indeed commendable. So on behalf of the Vice Chair of the Board of Supervisors, congratulations. Thank you so very much. Okay, uh, please uh, join me in welcoming uh, Mr. Jib Jordan to the microphone. Well, thank you, folks. I appreciate you all coming out to help us celebrate the 50th annual Snoopy House. I just cannot understand how we got to 50 so fast. I just feel like it was yesterday. I appreciate all of the accolades from the assembly, from the county, from the city. I really do. Uh, I'm humbled by those greatly. 
Uh, we never set out to do it for this. Uh, I appreciate the acknowledgement. And I'm excited to tell you that with the leadership here at City Hall and with Tom Hatch's office, we have negotiated and worked out what we call the legacy program. I'll still be involved here, but now this becomes something of uh, the city's property. They wish to continue on, way on, because, hey, I'm old. <laughs> and, I, and I'm humble that they see uh, a value in it to be able to continue. I have two very special thanks to give, and one is to my God who allowed us to bring us over here. And on his birthday, I say to him, Merry Christmas. And the second one is to my wife, Linda. We've been married 28, 29 years now, and she still puts up with me. When we got married, I told her, I said, look, sweetie, I'm not a sports fanatic. You won't find me in the bars after work. I don't chase around. I'm not into hot rods. You'll find me in the workshop working on Snoopy. So at least I'm home with that. Uh, a very special thanks to my counterpart from the city, Dan Baker. He, yay for Dan Baker. Yes. I can honestly say I saw a city employee break sweat. So no, they did a great job. The facilities group swung in this year uh, as they're starting to become more inclusive and we hand over ownership. They did a great job. Tom has been down here making sure everything goes right. The council is just behind us 100%. I appreciate you ladies and the men coming in. I just want to thank you so very much and wish you all a Merry Christmas and God bless. Thank you so much, Jim. Really appreciate that. Okay. Uh, Council Member Guinness and Council Member Foley, please join me up here. We are going to, uh, and all the others, please, please kind of scoot in. We're going to do the official opening of Snoopy House. Is everybody ready? Where are the kids? We need some kids up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kids up here. We need you for the Come on countdown. up. We need a countdown here. So we're going to start in a minute. So what we're going to do, uh, Council Member Guinness is going to lead us in a countdown uh, from five uh, on to zero, and then to be the opening of Snoopy House. So uh, here we, uh, Council ready? Member Guinness, are you ready? Is everybody ready? Ready to count? Okay. Hold on, here we go, here we go. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Wait a minute. There's something wrong. It didn't happen. Snoopy? Hi. You know, the lights didn't come on. We need your help. Okay, we're, oh, 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 it was a, a blown fuse. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, 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 you're back there. You you got it fixed now? Uh-oh, okay. Oh, okay, count again. Okay, ready? Five, four, three, two, one. 